thank you for joining me. I've got some very, very, very bad news to report. I was released from the police station about two and a half hours ago. Jada is still in custody. Now, I was quite surprised actually to have received a call from her about an hour ago. And I've been, ever since I've been trying to digest the gravity of the news that she's just given me. The police are applying to remand her to prison. No bail, no bail conditions. They want to send her to prison straight away until her trial. Now, thankfully, because of the way the court system in, in over here in Northern Ireland works, she gets one last throw of the dice. And that is before a judge in the Belfast courts tomorrow morning. If the judge sides with the police, Jada will be spending at least the next three months in prison over here in Northern Ireland. Absolutely unbelievable. Scandalous. I cannot get my head around it. So the, that's the news. The police are looking to remand Jada straight to prison until her trial. Absolutely outrageous. This country has become North Korea or Soviet, you know, Soviet Russia or Nazi Germany. This country has literally become a tyranny where freedom of speech is not allowed anymore. On the plus side, Jada is in good health. She's very upbeat. She's very defiant. You know what she's like? She's a very stubborn lady. She will not give in. She will not give up. But the gravity of the situation is thus. In the morning, the judge is going to decide whether Jada is remanded to prison until her trial in approximately three months. Of course, as soon as I hear anything, I'll provide another video update. But please, please, everyone out there, say a prayer for Jada tonight that she's not sent to prison tomorrow. God bless you all. Thank you for your support. And I'll provide more updates in the morning.